back to one of the most important diamonds in the world, the legendary deposit of Kolkata, India. This particular location is the first location recorded on Earth that diamonds were discovered. This is back in the 1700s, before Brazil, before Africa, before any of these locales, it was Kolkata. Now, something interesting about this deposit, it has high optical transparency, which is different than other diamonds across the world, Due to the lack of nitrogen within the crystal structure, these diamonds just disperse fire like you've never seen anywhere else. I mean, they come fully certified GIA D flawless. This was originally a three carat up historical cut Colaconda because the only way to get these is to buy the historical stones. And back in the day, they didn't cut D flawless. They didn't even know what it was, right? So basically they would just cut them in these wonky shapes, etc. And basically we buy those and then Kat and her team sit down, use machines, equipment, etc. to figure out how they're going to get the D flawless diamond because that's all she uses is D flawless diamond. So they'll sacrifice 50% or 50 odd percent of the weight to get the perfect diamond. What they've got here is a one and a half carat flawless D flawless, the perfect white, the perfect clarity, the perfect everything. And she has put 2.39 carats of D flawless diamonds around that one and a half carat octagon as well. Look at that 2.39 carats in current market. And I can't get diamonds at all. Now. I don't know what's happened since the pandemic. One supply has been minimal Two, Surat. The cutting areas within India have been on their knees. It's, it's chaos. You can read about it and prices are going up. The demand is up. Prices are soaring in diamonds. Look, this is old school. 2.39 replacement value in current market. That mount is 15K. It's 15K just for the mount. Then you've got a one and a half carat Kolkanda. And when you see the price I'm selling this for, it's just outright illegal. Do you know a one and a half carat normal D flawless? Just a normal one and a half carat D flawless is going to set you back without being from Kolkanda well over 20 odd K. This ring with a normal diamond would be close to 30K. How much is it with a Kolkanda diamond? So whoever gets this, understand these are rare. The only way we can get these stones, these diamonds, is buy them in the historical shape, recut them. And it's really tricky because Cat won't use it unless it's a D flawless. So there have been certain cases where they bought it and they got it wrong. And when they get it wrong, they give it back to me. But Kolkanda diamond, even in VBS1, <laughs> sells for huge premiums. So no stress there. But she keeps the best ones. And that's what you've got here. A perfect diamond, D flawless, a perfect cut in the historical Colaconda diamond. It comes with all the paperwork, got everything you need, extremely collectible. And we just don't see a lot of these stones around the market because they're so old.